what is going on guys i'm back with another video today we're going to take a look at the transformers legacy united in fernac universe magnus before we get to him let's go over the box so here you have magnus's packaging magnus's vehicle mode magnus in his robot mode and that on the back, you have your obligatory product shots. Uh, his weaponizable self in the 40th anniversary logo. And on this side, you have the Legacy United poster. So that is it for the packaging. In the box, you get his axe. And you get Magnus. So, yeah, I'm a little late reviewing the rocks. Because this is the first time I've found the uh, armorizers since the line's been out. But yeah, he is a rock truck that I find really funny. But you can see all the nice texture detail on him. I really like this. Done in this gray and the black. Oh, money, some silver. But um, yeah, so you can take the axe. There's two pigs here, and you can store it on the bed of the truck, or you can pick it up here in the port, so you can ram some things, I guess, yeah. So, for comparison, bring in Core Class Boulder Crash. I don't think I've reviewed it, but you're seeing it here first on the channel, so... There's Boulder Crash. And just another car comparison. Here is with Buzzworthy uh, Worlds Collide Bumblebee. So, uh, yeah. Now uh, let's get him into his armorizer bits. Oh. Uh, here's all of his bits. Um, as usual, most modulator weaponizers there's always one piece that really can't be used so we've got his canopy um two parts of his feet his arms two thingies two hubcaps and the axe oh. yeah you can kind of just ah, not do that kind of just do whatever but I will show off some things you can do okay so you can kind of do this with them I put uh, the hubcaps down here on his legs the little spikes on his arms gave him the hammer uh, the canopy shield and just put his arms on the back you can kind of do that one way or maybe something. Yeah, I couldn't come up with anything better. I switched some things out, but otherwise, not really feeling it there. And this is just too heavy by itself. But yeah, you get the you get the gist. And we're back with his robot mode. And, yeah, I actually kind of like this guy. He's, uh, only one of the more interesting weaponizer figures we've had over the years. Uh, let's get a close-up look at his face. Definitely made of rocks. Like, you could really just, I love it. I love how his face looks. Yeah, so um, one of the things you're supposed to do is you could either leave the rocks here in his arm from truck mode or turn them around and put them on these pegs back here. And now you don't have any hollow gaps in his legs. So that's cool. All articulation wise, his head can only rotate and it is very stiff. Arms can do a full 360. In and out, bicep, elbow, his wrist is on a ball joint. 
He does at least. Hips can go forward, back, in and out. He has a thigh. He has a knee. Ankles come out forward and back. And he's got an ankle tilt. So he's a posable rock. Oop. When he wants to be. Now you can give him this as a, a shield. If it will go into his hand. Yeah, like that. And you can give him his little axe. I I put this back here. Just because. So that. And if you want, you can take Gold Crash, flip this up, and peg that into his hand. And now he's holding a Volcano Bike Sword thing. So, yeah. There's that. And... Now for some comparisons, let's start with Core Boulder Crash, just so you guys can see how it scales with a one of the other Infernicons from this line. Here he is with Worlds Collide Bumblebee. So you can see how he scales with small deluxe. Uh, for a Legacy United, here he is with Wind Blade. Oh, get out of there, Bumblebee. And with Voyager 35th Prime. But overall, Magnus, I think, is a pretty fun figure. I mean, he's another one of the weaponizable guys that doesn't really weaponize, but still fun regardless. Yeah, I'm gonna. These can go on the back of your arm. I. Uh, yeah, yeah, go over there. Otherwise, he's a fun figure. I like him. Yeah, pair him up with the other ones that have come out. Well, just him so far. And uh, when Shard comes out, I think these guys look cool as a little group. But, yeah. That being said, this has been the review for the Legacy United Infernac Magnus stand. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below, and I will see you later.